Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh, 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 oh. show let's get closer let's get closer all right all right <laughs> so you can zoom in on this because it's only three of us uh welcome to the swerve show we look a little I'll little washed out i don't feel my mahogany here oh i can see my mini rippleton shirt uh -oh. my favorite singer for black music Mind. i want a mini rippleton shirt. Mini. did you get a shirt i want a shirt. i didn't get a mini shirt uh -huh. Y'all don't, that's media. not your favorite singer. This is my favorite She's singer in the entire my, world. I thought Shaka was your favorite. No, Minnie Rippleton mm. is my favorite Shaka singer. is my favorite. How Shaka's you? yours. Minnie okay, Rippleton is mine. Okay, well, look, welcome to the Swerve Show. It is Thursday, I mean, Wednesday, June 19th. Juneteenth, y'all. Juneteenth, y'all know Juneteenth? Freedom Day. Freedom Day. All freedom, right, right. freedom, I can't move. Y'all so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a slide in there for for June team somewhere in there. Did I have one in there, DZ? Mm -hmm. Yes, somewhere in there. Anyway, anyway, show the May June issue. Of course, we are celebrating our May June issue here, featuring Rosan Patterson and Racine. We've got your column in there. Yes, Pride, Purpose, and Pose. And Pose. It was very appropriate given mm -hmm. the the combination of Pride and the Pose season debut for season what is this season two or three two two of pose all right all right just got renewed for this season three. Oh wow hey uh, Tony, my brother tony's on he said he wants that mini ripperton shirt me too tony doc scorpius productions uh -oh. daryl well, johnson we'll talk to him we'll talk to him we'll talk to him so we got of course uh we we, we said the may june issue and of course there are advertising opportunities both within the magazine and on the show. And a couple of people have inquired, uh, but they just haven't produced their budget. <laughs> so anyway, uh, feel free to contact me for, for, for inquiries. Um, all right, so what's going on with everyone? We want to start with you, Racine. I got one of your flyers. Okay. What do you have? Uh, that bam. Oh, Monday, June 24th, Team Racine presents oh, so an busy. evening with Jericho Brown. It's free at Studio Theater. It will be doors open at 6 from 6 to 9 p.m. It's a wonderful event sponsored by DC Homos. East City Books will be a wonderful bookseller. Um, please come out. The event is free, but you can purchase the books, and he will autograph and do a meet and greet along with a talk back. So I'm really excited about that. And, it's and that's in Washington, D.C., y'all. And I'm also uh, doing a special host for District Pride. Oh, we got, we got that. I got that list. I got mm -hmm. that later on what's hot. We'll talk about that. Okay. We'll talk about that. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Tony, well, today I hosted the 8th Annual Mayor's Senior Symposium at Baloo, all right. celebrating all of our seniors from all of the wards throughout the city. Our illustrious, honorable mayor, Muriel Bowser, was there. It was a wonderful, seniors. wonderful day. Seniors. What, what's considered a senior these days? Anyway. You are. I mean, the age. <laughs> you are considered a senior. Tony, you, are we myself, seniors? Tony, we're all Ooh, seniors. We're very, we're very so We're sexy forever. seniors. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm willing to. to You're a senior, but you label. are a senior. You are AARP Tony, member. Are you, are you embracing that label? Actually, I'm not a current. I like love current member. Oh, you're not. Okay. Tony, well, are you tell embracing them. that label of senior? I, I love it. I, I prefer it. elder. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say super elder? Yes, I prefer. Oh, I that. love that. Like a superhero. Yes. I don't know. When I hang with the 30s, I feel at home with them. So I love the seniors. We oh, met, today I met. Um, oh, uh, most. Yeah, I, I I prefer young people. I love young people, but yeah. I, I celebrate our seniors. But know. I do celebrate our seniors, yes. The I oldest senior there like was 95 you know and I mean? oh, wow. amazing. 95. And yet he but danced I like and older twirled. People. I you love know, really old people. Fun, I love to talk fun, to old people. Excuse me, fun older people. older people. Yes. <laughs> Even the not the grouchy ones. I like not them the grouchy too. ones. I they can't I mean, like, Okay, take a happy pill. Somebody says senior is 55 and up. Ooh, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm 54. Okay, all right, anyway. Well, Rick, senior is just party. all over this city. I am. I'm the Empress of Pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my niece! My niece isn't watching. Hey Quinn, how are you? I gotta see my my uh, my niece, my great nieces and nephew. Gotta catch up with them. I know you're back from your California trip. I want to hear all about it. Anyway, okay. 
And Jose Gutierrez is on. We All love right. you. We so, love you. So, That's my Capricorn so brother. So, Tony, what, what you got going on? I know you got some. Are you at Ziegfeld's this weekend? I am at Ziegfeld's this, this weekend. weekend? Oh. Um, this Friday. I haven't and been. I need to get there this, this Coming Friday. up soon in July, I'll be at Ziegfeld's every Friday. Huh? You heard me. It's going to be what? <laughs> every Friday? I don't know if that's out yet, but I'm going to be at Ziegfeld's every Friday. Are you serious? Yes, starting in July. That's wonderful. Every Friday. Ooh. Will it be Daryl? Daryl's taking it over no, every we'll Friday. We'll just leave it at that. But, but, can we get, but, can we get a flyer I don't think with your image and name I on it? I don't think it's been announced yet, but it's um, every Friday. I'll be oh. at First, they didn't and want the black uh, folks up in there. This is at Ziegfeld's, y'all. The, the club. They welcome the everyone. At first, they didn't want us up in there. Now, they want us in there every Friday night. Well, they, that's, they, they welcome everyone. Everyone. I've stop. never had that experience. I have. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I've been in there and, they, and they've been looking I at you like. That's because you were too dark. When are you <laughs> leaving? <laughs> but uh, also, um, coming up this Sunday is very important because, and I say this is important because. Oh, this is Strong uh, uh, J's lipstick review is this Sunday at uh, Mr. Henry's. It's I really can't important. Make this Sunday. We love when you come. It's really <laughs> important. We yet. do. Well, yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> really yet. important. Um, for me to make sure I put that one out there because, like I said, this is a this is one of the old school shows. And you said it's the most fun show. It is a it is a hilarious Sunday show. Sunday at what it was, time? It starts at eight fifteen. Show starts and Stranger is a taskmaster. Was starting that show on time. Amen. You're not on time. You don't get paid. Oh. And you know, but it, but the thing is that uh, Stranger and Tay are doing this all out of their pocket. There's no help from the club or. The establishment, and but that's how the uh, really the drag shows in DC started, especially the black the black drag shows. Sure, I'm and, sure. Um, they started because people like Teresa and the the um, Earlene and all that would just just have a show, and people like uh, Vicky Vox, um, Gigi Cruz, all these people so, started so through the through that through that arena. So that's Sunday. This Sunday, can we get a flyer? Can they can they they doing any flyers? Yeah, they have, we have a flyer. flyers. We need, we need some visual. I'm sure it was probably sent. You probably overlooked. No, 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 no. You're we getting need, old. That's part of being a visual, senior. We need some visual <laughs> that we can consistently promote this. How about that? I got you. You got And um, okay. I also lost the watch party. I'm going to try to relaunch it again. Uh -oh. so okay. If you are watching from the watch party, I'm going to try to relaunch again. All right. Well, let's keep it we moving. Love to you folks too, who are watching us, like Cole like Hansberry, and share. Mark Angel, hey, and Quinn, like Jose, and, share. and like and share on Facebook. That's my niche, y'all. All right. All right. Well, let's get to some news. We got we got a sort of a wide open show. Let's get to some news. The Democratic presidential primary debates are happening, and I mean. Can we get any more candidates? <laughs> I mean, they're going to have to do What's this. What's it, 129? In, it's in two nights. <laughs> it's, in t it's like 20, it's 25. 22, I believe. It's 22. 22. So what are your thoughts on the, on the debate? I'm going to be, I'm there for it. June I'm going to watch 26, it. June 26, I think. They're going all, all 22 are going to debate it. What are they going to split? It's going to be in split. two nights. Mm -hmm. uh, multiple panels, but over a two-night period. This is just a primary debate. Well, maybe, well you I know, this will separate. Oh sure, it's going. No. Some people are going to drop out. They're going to run out of money after the first. But I think <laughs> it's. I, I I think it's important. I think I, I think the fact that they have twenty two people that are vying for um, the presidency is is a state of the times. It's a sign of the times of now maybe the field, but it'll 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 lean itself out, and I hope it just keeps leaning and keeps leaning until we get um, someone. Well, who someone can, you know the, the 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 and they cut it off at one percent. You got to have at least one percent. There are other people who are who are listed to run that don't meet the white per, the one percent mark, so they're not qualified to participate in it. Beto O'Rourke has one percent. Yeah, just. I think I think he's just a wash. Yeah, I think he he launched. Um, he waited too late. He lost the momentum, and then he's he just his whole stand launch. Up. His whole launch on uh, was it um, Vanity Fair, and some of the things that he said were, were not very um, women. Woman friendly, right, right. And I think that kind of killed him. And Put um, Pete Buttigieg, whatever that, the mayor from South Bend, Indiana, he's just sort of stole all his thunder. He's well, sort of Pete Buttigieg Beto's is place. Pete Buttigieg is very smart, um, and I'm I'm watching him. Yeah, very, very closely. I, I am watching him. Watching Do you think the country who's your, who's is ready for right? an openly gay married Why, president? They need to be. I'm just oh, asking. A they white one. I think they're married. I think you they're think ready they're over a woman. A white man. 
over a woman. Period. They need to be. I think they're ready for a white man. Period. Always, no matter who, what, whatever. No matter who, are. what, where. That's all. That's but gonna be the standard. A woman. I think. That, you know, I had this debate with with some friends earlier today whether or not the country is ready for a female president yet. I think the tide has finally turned. I think that was the reason, the real reason Hillary lost is because you know the country. Just didn't wasn't uh, ready for so a I, president, but I, I think women are ready I think to elect Hillary, a woman president. The real reason Hillary lost because she ran a poor campaign. She ran a bad campaign. She did. She ran a poor campaign. Yeah. I tell you my story, my Hillary Clinton story. I was talking with their their media buyer, maybe I think right after the Democratic National Convention that she got the, the official nominee, um, and. You know, I was asking them what their strategy was, and that had to be, I guess, that, was that August or late, late July? And they said they hadn't determined yet what their national strategy was around print. And I thought, well, that rules out all the biggies. That rules out your essence, your ebony's, because they're two months out. So I, and I said to them, I said, oh, my God, you're going to lose this election. <laughs> right, right. She just ran. <laughs> she, she ran. A, they, I think they, they thought, for whatever reason, that they didn't really have to do all of the outreach. Well, it, it, and, what, and that was... But she's proven two times in a row that because she had, when when she ran against Obama that first the first term in the primary, well, she ran it a, was her race to lose. She ran, a, she ran a campaign of entitlement. Pretty much. She thought she was entitled to that position and um, she was she got the um, okie doke. Yeah, and her, that I mean, she, she got she didn't, shot. She, she, she didn't structure a great campaign. But anyway, so we're going to leave it alone. So we're going to look out for the debate Elizabeth Warren is really sticking out to me. Every time well, I hear her and talk, I'm, and I'm more tell convinced. You, and I'm going to tell you why she sticks out. And, and this is why she sticks out and why um, I think Pete Buttigieg sticks out beyond the fact that, he, that he's gay, he's openly gay. Uh, that's important, but that's not the reason why he sticks out to me. Both Warren and Buttigieg, they tell you the problem and they tell you their solution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you listen to Warren, she has a solution to this is this is and a viable solution. A viable solution. Not something wild this and crazy. Is, this is this is this is here it is, and this is what I plan to do about it. Mm -hmm. And you either take it or you don't. You just not say, "Oh, I'm gonna kill cancer." You you telling me how I'm right, gonna right, do right. it? World peace. Uh, world peace. <laughs> you know, and, and that was not meant to be a dig at um, uh, Biden, but and I'm, and I think it was Wanda Sykes that said, you know. I'm for Buttigieg, Warren, Harris, anybody but the old white man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. We've had them. We, we, want, right, we need you, something you else. You had your day in the sun. Yeah, we need a, a something breath else. of fresh air. It's and so then, important. And then Wanda Sykes took it, so, took it further. Uh, and if Biden decides to get a dude on the side, you know, maybe I'll go for him. But other than that, no. <laughs> That's a mess. Wanda's a mess. But, Wanda, but, I, but, but it was it, when she said it, People, some people laughed, and people were kind of like, "Oh!" But I, I got her point. I mean, it turns we, out we we've had, and look what you're doing now. We got one now. The old boy club has got to go. Well, what we got now? <laughs> but, is at the, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you don't get out and vote, this is what's going to happen. Oh my goodness! You're Clearly, gonna get, you're going to get another Clear, four years. There are consequent elections have consequences, and we are we are in the midst of those consequences. So anyway, <sighs> all right. Moving on, we've got this. This I still don't understand. I just saw this today. The prosecutors have dropped criminal charges in the Flint water case. Can you believe that? Deplorable. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh yeah, I can believe They're it. They're still having a problem, but but there is there is a positive twist to this because the new attorney general that they elected is going to launch a, a new a separate investigation. But my thing is, so is no one responsible for the lead that's still in the water? They still don't have clean water. They still don't have clean water. It's just ridiculous. It's a shame before the Lord. It's, it's a shame. Hey, Luke. Luke, Big and, Luke Huff is watching And if from it was Atlanta, in areas up, that were pr predominantly uh, Caucasian, we would not be having this Well, you discussion. know, MSNBC had a big had, you know, a report that is happening all over the country. Chester, Pennsylvania. I mean, it, it tend to be communities where we are and Latino, but it's in and also poor rural. Country, and poor cities. In and rural, rural places where poor, poor. folks are. Anyway. We're rural places where poor folks are, and these are the things that um, the president should be focusing his government period. attention. If he wants to build something, well, build, just, a, uh, build a better water. infiltration <laughs> system in, 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 in Flint, yeah, what and happened? put your name on that. 
What happened to Infrastructure Week? Did we ever have it? We never had it. But just <laughs> FYI, this is my little plug for DC Water. People, we criticize oh, DC. Right. You for yeah, DC Water. Water. DC Water is DC. The city of Washington DC has the most advanced water filtration really? system. It in, better not in the country, but in the world. Really? Yes, in the world. People from China. China had to boil my water. No, people from China. <laughs> all of. I mean, every city. I mean, because. That whole process of uh, of filtering, because it's filtering have, water, have you seen it? is like very. Where they, where they have the they have the. I the work. The I work. I work on the wastewater plant. Ooh. I mean, you know, I see it and I smell it. <laughs> but so. And you still drink the <laughs> water from the tap? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate but, that. I'm but the if you and plant. if you're in Washington, if you're in Washington D.C., give me a call and I'll, I'll provide a tour for you because it's amazing. <laughs> no, seriously. It's but when you see the bacteria, oh, we should like, have an LGBTQ. You should. Tour. Well, it's you amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing um, the technology that that D.C. puts into um, cleaning their wastewater. Mm, and um, if you watch, if you watch the and what, you know D.C.'s uh, water bills are high, of course. But if you watch High that, the sky, yo. but if you watch that Anacostia River, you see it slowly Ooh. turning. It, but it's coming back. You watch it. Um, we it's watch. Got it. oh, they've done an amazing job of, of cleaning it up. It's got a lot of back to come, but but, but it's, they, they but it's ten it's ten times that. better. You notice the eagles are back at the Anacostia. I do see more that's, bird that's life. That's the sign. They, they 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 predict in ten years you'll be able to um people will be able to swim. Yeah, All right, right, y'all. Well, let's go to amazing one time. to Andre to Quinn to Luke to Shawnee Kingsbury. Who just joined us? Big Luke, please like and share. Luke, man, you got we got to do another story, or you got to write something. We did a really nice story on him a couple years ago, celebrating his life. Y'all remember Luke? He's in Atlanta. We know who Luke is. Oh, of course we do. Of course, Luke, we all know who you are. We missed Smile him. Smiling face. He put together some of the best parties. He in did. The, he did. That will forever go down in history. For the homo thugs. <laughs> I like all that. You you were right there, <laughs> trying to blend. Looking all hard. Really yeah, really I, yeah, you were in there, weren't Tim, you? Tim, Trying to blend. Tank tops and baseball hats. Showing your breastuses as a homo thug. Well, they said DC had a lead problem around 2003. Ooh. They did. They did. They did. The whole thing has got one. Yeah, they did. All right. DC okay. had a terrible lead problem. That was, that's when it was Wassa, not DC Water. That was a whole well, different Well, let's, let's go to what's hot. Okay. So, y'all, Janet Mock just signed a new deal with who? Netflix. Netflix I'm so is proud like, of her. Is like the, the 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 new platform for television, and it's diverse and broad. So she's got, you know, she's a co-producer with uh, for Pose, uh -huh. but she's working on a a couple of series. One is like a half hour. I think she said it's a sitcom uh, on um, with a, a transgender. Well, no, on college life, and so from a transgender point of view. So it should be interesting. I think so. that's going to be amazing. She's amazing. Congrats, but Netflix Janet. is amazing because they're open. Yes, well, they're clearly. open and they're visionaries. And think about it; they don't have they don't have the barrier, the challenges, the dilemmas that network television has, and so you can consume it at it. your discretion. Oh, I see. I see. And without commercials, you can pick and choose what you want to watch when you want to watch, watch as it. many episodes how you want to watch yeah. it and binge watch. Watch right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And watch everything all at once. You had to, you know, you can watch the whole season. But anyway. Congrats on her. And we got to do something on Janet. I don't think we've done anything in Swerve on Janet Mock. I think, well, we need to reach out to her people. So, Janet, we'll do that. No matter her years, years, years ago. She's one of the most gracious ago, women yeah, you ever yeah. Luke Huff had asked the question. He said that um, DC Water, DC had a lead problem around 2003, and they pulled together and... So why can't Flint? Why can't that's Flint all about that? government. That's the about will government. of government. And that's the about government. that's about government. You have to understand that DC is the capital city and the the government. Oh, that's the other thing. DC. They, took, they had to get that. They together. took they took DC water out of the from under DC government. That's when um, Barry was mayor. Oh, after Barry. So it was under the purview of, of it DC was a DC. It was a complete DC government entity, and then it became. That's when the, you know the control board took over and but all that stuff. But think about it. The, I mean, the, the 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 seat of government is here. Right. So they not only just, I mean, they don't just convene here. They live here for most part of the right. year. So they are impacted by what happens in this city. Exactly. But and, but they but DC Water was then privatized. Well, it's not really privatized. It's quasi government. It is quasi right. It's quasi government. Mm -hmm. But it um, they 
they moved it and they changed it, the whole uh, structure of it. Can you get us some filters? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Compliments ah. of... Anyway, we don't want to get you fired. Don't be go stealing no filters out there. No, I won't steal them. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, we got another uh, ent- uh, hot, uh, item coming up. Chris, Chris Prince. Who's he Chris sings. Prince? He sings jazz. Oh, he's the jazz Chris. singer. Yes, we do and know it's Chris what? Prince. June twenty second. There's so many. Everything's June twenty second here in Washington D.C. at the. At, that's at Mr. Henry's. The legendary Mr. Henry's. He's Chris. also a part of the amazing a cappella group Reverb. Is he? That was a part of Politics and Art last week. I've never seen Chris. Oh, they before. were amazing. I, so I'm at the catch you another Along time. Along with Soul Elder and so many other artists. Oh, I love Soul Elder. They were amazing. I was also the host for that. Oh, <laughs> but it was an amazing event. Hey, Michael. And Stratton. Reverb was incredible. All right, but let's keep it moving. So, of course. Big Frida is gonna be in DC, y'all. Wobble, wobble. Uh, at we was wobble where? what they won't Don't fall we have an down. image? We have an image of Big Frida that uh, the Queen herself, the Queen of Bounds, is gonna be where at the National Museum of African American History and Culture, where I reside. That's my day job there. Uh, she's gonna be there and being. It's a book tour, so she's she has the doing book? a, a Q and oh yeah, yeah. We did an article on the book years ago, <laughs> so she's doing a book signing and a Q and A, and the interviewer is. Karamo, and he's got a book out too. So it's Karamo be does have a book out, and a, so she's going to perform too. So free so, going to perform. Yeah, it's free. Go to the, the website for the National uh, Museum of African American History and Culture. Of course, I'm on the VIP. Deadline's going to be. Oh well, we we got you. But yeah. deadline's going to be around that museum. It's going to be free. amazing. Mm-hmm. And it, so you don't have to get tickets and stuff. So it's first come first serve. So it's going to. I'm fun. looking forward to it. What what's the time? Uh, I think it starts, the show starts at 7, so, but I got to be there early because we're doing something in advance of, of the, the tour, so. But the, the Q, it, we'll talk about the VIP thing because I got you listed on that. Hey, right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship has its privileges. <laughs> so, okay, another thing we got, who said, no, you're not? <laughs> I know some, Luke, I Luke. saw that quote. Hey, Luke. Uh, someone, no, you're I not the only Luke. one watching, Chad. There's many others that are watching, and they will watch later. Hey, Chad. People I love are Luke. doing buddy. other things at the 10 o'clock hour. Oh, yeah, yeah they're doing something. <laughs> Robert Snowden is on, too. Okay. So, District Pride of, the District of Pride event. Tell us about that. Oh, he's that talking about the problem. Yeah. I thought he was talking about Tell us us about I that apologize. Racine. Tell us about the District of Pride event. Do we have a flyer? Oh, it's a wonderful we have event. We a flyer for that, DZ. I think we have a flyer for that. Bringing together all of these Ta-da. amazing artists. This is the second one they've put together. It is a celebration of the LGBT experience. Washington, D.C., y'all. Washington, D.C. The gayest city in the country. And inviting in all of these amazing artists. And it, I am so honored. I will be their special appearance, a special guest. Are you doing a number, Racine? No, I will be giving the history of, considering we are talking about the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, and I will talk about the history and how Washington, D.C. played a role and oh. how it impacted us. So I will be giving a history lesson. All right, fierce. Teacher, the principal will be in the building. That's going to be fierce. You and know. of course, that is what? June 22nd. I don't know why we got to do everything on the same night. Everything is same. Because, you know, unfortunately, people in this town don't collaborate and listen to one another. And there's always like something should. going on. I was like, come on, y'all. I Please. wish we could. We have to have better communication. We spread it around a bit. So anyway, okay. June twenty second. That's the same night. Same. That's what I'm saying. Everything's everything. There's going like on so many day. other things There's happening. There's about there. eight events all at the same <laughs> time in the same place. Right. All right. So another hot item. Choices. Queer Eye is being renewed for. I love two that more show. seasons. I love with Mr. Karamo. I love that show. And you know, when they first did the show, when they first did the remake, I thought he was going to be the fashion stylist. He should one. have been a fashion and stylist. And he's the Karamo. <laughs> he's like the life coach. I mean, the... the uh, well, he's so amazing. He is amazing. He, he is. Could love, do, and he could do it all. But I, uh, he's, in my opinion, he's the most stylish of them. Well, look also. at him. I mean, of course he's a, he is. The, other, the, the, the gentleman from, um, I think he's from India or Pakistan. Oh, okay. Well, is he's he from fierce? England. No, is he fierce with the styling? He's cute. he's cute. He's cute. Oh, he's no, cute. Gotta, if you're going to be styling people, you got to be fierce. I mean, I mean, <laughs> especially coming after um, 
Uh, Carlson. Carson. Oh, I mean, because Carson, Carson was... Carson took it to another level. Carson, Carson was, was the amazing. show. Yeah. He was the show. And people people slept on Carson, but Carson is always snatched he at is. all he times is. possible. That queen is always... I live for That Carson. queen is always done. I, he is a beautiful person. And and I just love everything never, about him. That, that, that queen is all place. head to toe. That queen is always, <laughs> d- always big up. But um, this... Yeah, I, I was shocked when I saw. I but haven't seen it. I gotta it's watch it. Really, I've watched it a couple of times. It's really good. And, and I go thing, back and watch and it. The thing is, they they it's not as um, stereotyped, and okay. it's they they right. open it up, and they tell stories, and they go into communities, and it's not just them trying to fix up straight guys. It's they fixing up all kinds of right. people, and, like and people with stories. They went to um, they were I think it was in Memphis to a, a barbecue house, and the two sisters, the most famous barbecue house down there, and mm-hmm. they did them and. And oh, oh so, fir- not, so it's not just—it's not—it's not, it's not queer, queer for the straight guy. No, anymore. it's not straight it's guy. Eyes. But they, the first episode, they did kind of stick to the original script. They went, to, they did this older um, white—I guess he was a redneck—and the ending of that show, that was the first one on the first season, mm. and the ending of that is what got me in because okay. it was just so well done. I well, love that I, show. So you someone check, said so we need to invite Kawama. We, we would like, of course, we, we, would love to, we would invite all of them. All of Karama that. has an open invitation. Hi, beloved Robert. Please, please come like to my and home share. Home I told Robert's him that the last time I saw him. Anyway, okay. Hey, Lee Southall from Atlanta. Hey, Lee, how you doing, sir? Hope you're doing well, my friend in Atlanta. All right, another thing coming up. Pose has been renewed for season three. Kudos. Already, after one Kudos. little episode of season three. That first two. episode was ground. It was great. It was great. It was powerful and moving was to it? the entire cast. I am continu- Kudos. I am continuously... Impressed by by what they they're able to. They brought me to tears. For the, for Pose. It was yeah. amazing. I gotta watch. Oh my god! Yeah, you, you have you to gotta watch catch it. up. So, but binge see what watch, it is, is binge watch, you don't want to watch it because we lived it. Yeah, we lived yeah. it, and when you True. live it, it is very heartbreaking to see it over again. It touches a lot of emotional strings, and it's it's stuff that we've lived. It's our story. I had a gotcha. uh, I had a coworker, a, a female coworker. She was asking me about Pose. She said, "Oh, da 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 da." I said, "Sweetie, all those stories are, are oh. true." She said, oh, no, she you, they she, weren't true. They she weren't. said, "No, they're not." I said, "Trust me." Oh, please, there were more. They I were. I said, "When someone starts talking about," it, I said, "Oh, I remember that." They were more exaggerated. I mean, they were more extreme than, than, than what you're saying played. on TV. Right. And her anyway. mouth dropped. She said, "Are you kidding me?" I said, "Yeah." She said, "Oh my." Was well, she living under a rock anyway? Okay. Well, let's <laughs> well, keep it moving. Probably had a sexual. So another hot <laughs> yeah, she item. She is <laughs> Another hot item, y'all. The Swerve Model Contest. Our finalists. Voting has started, and the votes are coming in. Who's, so, who's voting? So we've got, I mean, a lot of people Everybody, voting. everybody. Uh, is it open to it's everyone open. to vote? It's open. Anyone can vote. You just go to our page, Swerve Magazine. Do we have any, do we have any, slash do we, model contest. Do we have any uh, preliminary results? Who's leading the pack? I haven't looked at it uh, the last few days. Um, I got, a fig, I, there were some folks that whose votes kind of just started coming in immediately. Oh. So and so, you know, it's really kind of up to the well, good luck to, to push everyone. it out. Right, We're, we have two categories: a male presenting and a female presenting. So I'm excited. I'm mm. excited. So anyway, all right, and and voting is open until July 15th. So please go to our website and vote for your favorite. All right, people. All mm-hmm. right. Yeah, Luke, go ahead and vote for somebody, please. Pick pick your favorite man. I want I want to know who you like, male and female. All right. Someone's so. going to tie me to a chair and make me watch. Oh, that's my son, <laughs> um, Maurice. What did he say? <laughs> He's going to tie me to a chair and make me watch. At least watch a I'm few not, I don't, episodes. I, honestly, I don't watch a lot of TV anyway. So well, check this out. I have another uh, Netflix film. It's a, a great documentary on Clarence Avon. Yes. I've only seen the trailer. Have you seen it yet? That I've seen it. I heard it was amazing. It is amazing. Now, that so I did run, see. Let's run the trailer for The Black Godfather, and then we'll talk about it a little bit on the back end. This name kept coming up. Who is this guy that I keep hearing about? He was up there, but he was right there. The record business, Hollywood, civil rights, anything that had to do with the rights of people. That told you everything you needed to know about him. He was fearless, man. Absolutely fearless. We needed to know him because he was the gatekeeper. He knew everyone. Everybody. Oh, man, he was too fly. One day him for another, he became a powerhouse. There's the power that needs the spotlight, but there's also the power behind the scenes. The guy's a rock in every way. Agent, man. Manager, orchestrator, this mysterious figure everybody respected. You only find one of those people. I'm like, how was this guy doing it? Sometimes I say to myself, how in the f did I get involved with all this? 
I won't let nothing get in my way about anything that I want to do. Clarence was an African-American man in Hollywood, defying what Hollywood was supposed to be. Black people are going to move forward. No matter what business he was in, he never wavered from his purpose. Seeing that things were fair. He said, would you like any help putting MCA into the black music business? I said, yeah. He says, well, that's good, because I'm going to tell you what to do anyway. I would hear about people that were in very serious situations when it came to life. And they would say, the only person that can help you with this is Clarence Avon. Clarence is the bridge from a time where there was no opportunity to a time where doors began to open. My brother! He understands the bigger that we are together, the bigger we will be as a culture. He told me, uh -huh. Henry Aaron would not be Henry Aaron if not for Clarence Avon. That I ought not to let you just walk on me. The message that I received from Clarence was just think about those kids that's looking up to me. If it feels it's good getting used. Just keep on the person that's responsible for your transition, that's the key to changing your life. Until you use me up. He became that mentor for us all. He became that godfather. Until you use me up. Remember the first time someone ever said, you're the godfather? Well, people call me that. People can call me anything. People have called me a son of a bitch, oh, so what? <laughs> use me up. I, that, that it's it's Man, amazing. That looks amazing. It's it amazing. was powerful. There's a there's trailblaze. A, they say that story. They say that, that story. They say that this is great, but there's so much that he's done. There's so behind much behind the scenes that you just you just don't know. One of the one of the anecdotes is um, Dick Clark was out to get Soul Train. Soul Train. <laughs> They called him. They got him. <laughs> he was like, oh, you going to stop that right now. you going to leave that man alone right now. Yeah, they said, you've got to see this. And, yeah. and uh, you know, he's, he's been behind so much stuff. Now, I know he discovered Bill Withers. He was, he was instrumental. He, he, was, he was instrumental in Sarah Vaughan's career. Vaughan's he was career. her manager for years and years and years and years. And, years and then and years. he took over Motown after Barry Gordy. I know he, he ran that. For a while, uh, but but his influence seems to be so broad. And everything, music, television, and, and multi politics, uh, yeah, uh, everything, right. everything, so, activism. It just he was just amazing. So hey, to everyone watching, watch it and let's talk about it next and week. Luke Huff said Netflix is filling all the gaps. Isn't they they, really, they are. Uh, they are. They are than, on it. Isn't it? Their I documentaries mean, are the best. We ain't talking about HBO. We ain't talking about ABC, CBS. We ain't talking about none of them. We didn't talk about Netflix all for the last month. And you're right, Racine. Their documentaries are the absolute best. That um, Nina Simone documentary is powerful. Woo. I think people should. I always say my favorite one on there is the uh, the Many Lives of Doris Payne about yes. the 85 oh, year old yes, black jewel thief. Please oh, see. Oh, I, I did see that. Please see. I did see that. Please Please see. Did see that. And Luke Huff, yes, she we couldn't go nowhere. Could got, her and she, she just could. got out of jail about two years ago in '83 <laughs> she, or '85. Were they gonna make a movie? What are they gonna do? Like they a, were supposed a, to be making a movie with Halle Berry. Oh, I'm supposed to be Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Then they said Kerry Washington is it's still up in the air. But I'm 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 so for it. I'm for a movie too. That movie's gonna be over. But yeah, Luke Huff, uh, Bill Withers music is great. Oh, Bill great, Withers was made. But you should check out um, Jose tribute. James' tribute album to him for his 80th well, birth, some, you know, birthday. Anthony Jose, Hamilton, not Anthony Hamilton. Um, Anthony David has a tribute album. Anthony sure David has a tribute an album. Tribute right. and Anthony Ho Davis is an amazing artist. He is, but he is. his album and Jose James' album. Uh, Jose, oh, Jose, James. James. Jose James did a, a, his 80th birthday album. Did, it's still on. He's been doing a tour with it for like 80 years. Oh wow! I mean, about a year, and um, he sounds a lot like Bill Withers, but it's great. Well, yo, we and can, there's we a duet with this. Layla Hathaway on that album. They Ooh. do, they do a duet of "Lovely Day." It's amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, his, his stuff is timeless. Layla can sing the phone book. Yeah. <laughs> I, always say, I always say that about Sarah Vaughn. She could have just... She, Sarah, Sarah Vaughn could have sang the, the phone book. Phone and it was book. Be I was just listening to a live album with Sarah Vaughn. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. We miss Sarah. But have you heard Cecile McLaurin's song? Oh, Stop talking about that it. That is who you got it. We're going to run her video for we Butterfly gonna next to. time. We black, gonna her, black, her version of Black yes. Butterfly is she amazing. She sings a cappella. Mm -hmm. She's just an amazing vocalist. She's we'll do that next week. All right, y'all. Okay. So we've got a musical uh, spotlight. I've seen this tune, but I, I mean, I've heard it. I don't know if the kids are talking about it. It's oh, they're loving Hall. it. They're doing nails, it. hair, hips, and heels. Yeah, so, it's, all, it's gotten over, I think, 
2.5 million really? hits or something like that. It's it's amazing. It I is. think we the only gay folks that are not in the video, first of all. Uh, how about <laughs> that? I haven't seen it. It's, oh, you're it's going, amazing. You're and he was minute. phenomenal at Capital Pride. Uh, you know, I missed him because I thought it was going to rain. Anyway. It, well, it did rain. <laughs> it rained. DZ, let's, let's run the video. Let's run the video. Todrick Hall, y'all. My mic's needed. Have you seen that documentary on the jazz? Oh. Nails, hair, hips, heels, ass, fat, lips, real, purse, full, big bills, bitch, I'm a big deal, legs, legs, face, eyes, thin, waist, thick, thighs, you, me, you, wish, new phone, who, this, pussy, puss, puss, give him cunt, 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 bitch, mama, yes, God, then you pop that tongue, bitch, this whole club is my runway, run, bitch, y'all, five, four, three, twos, I'm a one, bitch, girl, what did that girl just say, girl? <gasps> Girl, I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, 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 and then sashay. But I don't work for free. That's not the tea, hunty. So make it rain on me, and I might let you see. What you gonna let them see? My nails, hair, hips, heels, nails, hair, hips, heels, nails, hair, hips, heels, nails, hair, hips, heels. My nails, hair, hips, heels, nails, hair, hips, heels, nails, hair, hips, heels. Nails, hair, hips, heels Head, shoulders, knees, toes Don't know these hoes Face, lips, eyes, nose Camera, click, we pose Beat, mug, limp, wrist VIP list Wave, wave, blow a kiss I'm that bitch, sis Left, right, left, right, left with a spin, bitch Where's my sash and crown? Cause I win, bitch I'm so fab, I'm gone with the wind, bitch Y'all six, seven, eight, nines, I'm a ten, bitch Girl, what did that girl just say, girl? Ooh. Girl, I don't dance, I work I don't play, I slay I don't walk, I strut, strut, strut And then sashay But I don't work for free That's not the tea, hunty So make it rain on me And I might let you see What you gonna let them see? My nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels My nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Okay, dolls, y'all know what time it is. Come on. Everybody on the floor. Everybody on the floor. Now I want you to stretch out those arms, stretch out those legs, stretch out that wrist, stretch out that weave. I don't want to see you dance. I want to see you work. Come on. Drop for me. Drop for me. Drop. 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 Tongue pop for me. Pop for me. Pop tongue pop for me. Pop for me. Pop tongue pop for me. Pop for me. Pop tongue pop for me. Pop for me. Pop. Pose for me, pose for me, pose, pose for me, pose for me, pose, pose for me, pose for me, pose, pose for me, pose for me, pose and blink for these, blink for these hoes, 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 twelve for me, twelve for me, twelve, twelve for me, twelve for me, twelve, twelve for me, twelve for me, twelve, twelve for me, twelve for me, twelve say girl for me, girl for me, say girl for me, girl for me, say girl for me, girl for me, say girl for me, girl for me. Now snap for me, snap for me, snap, 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 now clap for me, clap for me, clap, 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 give trade for me, trade for me, trade, trade for me, trade for me, trade, trade for me, trade for me, trade, trade for me, trade for me, trade those shade for me, shade for me, shade, shade for me, shade for me, shade those shade for me, shade for me, shade, shade for me, shade. Fan for me, shake now, fan for me, fan for me, fan, 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 shablam for me, shablam for me, shablam, shablam for me, shablam for me, shablam, shablam for me, shablam for me, shablam, shablam for me, shablam for me, shablam. That's all. House Party Part 1 is available now to download. Oh, well. All right, y'all. Tadrick Hall, man. I guy, love him. He's such a, a he's he's such a diverse artist, too. I mean, he can do a little bit of everything. He can I sing. like the video. The video. Co- oh, the really, video was over. I just, w- I just, I mentioned it while I was on it. W- the, the gay oh. artists, we need to, they need to. Stop act. the C word. They, yeah. It's, it, you have to, yeah. That, that We're word evolving. Needs be, it's that like. The word needs to be, re- we need to reach. Stop moving that word. There's a couple words. So the C word needs to come out. The N word 
we need to stop adding to the chorus of every hip hop rap song. I, I don't get it. I don't need. I don't get that one yeah. at all. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, off the tidrick because he's such a talented artist. Yeah, but, but if know. I say this, if if you've never seen him, please go see him live. Yeah, I've not seen him live. He go see him. is phenomenal. His whole journey, his show, every show has a theme, and he takes you on an amazing journey through all of his song choices, everything. He's amazing. I've seen him three times. Really, and I was. And I know Floored he was on Broadway. He did, he did. I mean, I was. What that young man Broadway? is super talented. What did he do? He did Kinky Boots. He was in Kinky Boots. He, he's filled he in. He took um, uh, Billy Porter's. He played the, the Lola role. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's I think he guy. came after it was Billy. Oh, there were several Brady, people. And Wayne Brady. There were several Todd people after him. Right. Well, anyway, hats off to Todd. And we've shown a number of his videos, and it varies. He does all kinds of music. The videos got that, that, all this production. That video was really, really And he's yes. an independent artist. The read is, if you are a fierce... An amazing independent artist. Excuse me. If you are a fierce kid <laughs> in the community and you dance and twirl and stuff, and you were not in that video. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why. We, we weren't in that video. We, we were doing something else. That's the read. We were doing something about. The read is, uh, why were we not in that video? <laughs> we could twirl for you. And speaking of videos, you. oh my God, have you seen the new Taylor Swift video with Riley Knox in it? No. I saw that she I has I haven't it. seen it. Riley Knox She was just it? on Fox News. Um, yeah, she's in she's Taylor in, Swift. Yeah, she's yesterday. In, does she she's have a major Taylor role Swift. or does she have like a... She a blink that child is so breathtaking. She just... It's everything. Uh, well, the whole, the fact Taylor Swift pulls all of these LGBT artists oh, in the video. Okay. Kudos to them. Okay. Kudos to Riley Knox. Yeah, she's definitely in it. I saw the- I got to look uh, for the, can we show, we probably, I don't know if we can show a Taylor Swift video because they won't let us, they won't, the label won't let us show I that. didn't see the actual video, but I did see Riley's post about it and she had a picture with Taylor Swift. Oh, I got to see that. Yeah, we can Our pull, we can all get in that, the video. we can pull that picture. It's- Oh, we can pull out the picture. there. We can pull the picture. Chris just... Deloach was in the Janet Jackson video. Serving. Okay, I was like, okay. serving. Well, he can't do anything. But DC, oh Shaquita Lee, everybody, Teresa Beaver Jackson, everybody, Daryl Wilson, all of these amazing folks in DC who are just catapulting. Talented folk. Yo. Right. Tony, what the fuck now? Said. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just <laughs> we, doing we, it. We already got your project. We just Capital to Pride Honoree. I'm so yes, proud of you. I'm so pride. proud. I'm Long going, overdue. And NBC News called me yesterday. I'm, so I'm supposed to go to their station tomorrow. Did you but. send them your rider? I should have. I don't know what <laughs> that's about, though. I think just walk in your light. It's your time. I walk need what, in your light. I need three bottles of Child, water. Child, I be throwing... I, th 60 I throw Nate, Tony's name out all the time. All the time. Well, you know, I... And I appreciate it, and, and the and the the um, pride uh, parade was amazing. But the the most fun, one, I came around I the corner, you, and I could hear you on. The, I could hear you. I could hear you, and I was like, "Hey, come my sister right here." I said, "If Savannah, slow that car down, please." <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to get out the get out the car. I, I get just that. was so I, I was baby really, when I saw you. I just beamed. I up. had a really nice time. And I, if I could shout you out, you did, and you gave a good, you gave a good. Well, you didn't. Have, I didn't get the speech yet, so I didn't hear your speech. You didn't get a chance to give a speech. I did didn't you? give a speech. I did speak at the brunch. I oh. quick a few words, and it was really nice because Early Bud and Teresa Beavers Jackson came. With Early Bud was one of the. Um, Grand Marshals. Grand Marshals. And oh. Teresa said, she, oh, I came because I want to support my niece. And so, <laughs> and which I really, really appreciated. And, and so that was very touching. And I, and I had relatives that came. Wow. And there were pictures of me popping up on Facebook from cousins that, that saw that I was going to be in this parade. We saw you. We saw you. Wow. And, I, and, so it was just and I'm so really, glad you were in the front. It was early yeah. on. <laughs> All that and so, and Savannah just really, I mean, she really took the experience for me to another level, and I am just well, congratulations, I'm so happy. So we had two. So you know, our, our link to Capital Pride is all throughout. So Racine was honored. You've been honored. Uh, your day was, was Mr. Capital Pride right. years ago. I used to work. At, for Capital Pride, when when Whitman Walker, it's had all in it. It's it was one of my it was one of my my projects that I raised money for it, sponsorship. Wow. So there's links all over the place. It I was a great, Ashley and, and Ryan. So. It was a great experience. I only I only felt for the people that did not <clears throat> after sitting that long and then they didn't get their car, didn't get oh, to move because of the parade. Yeah, because of the, but but people I. Someone was yelling, well, you know, I'm from New Orleans, I'm from New Orleans, but you know, this is the capital city. You have to, you know, they have to take the precautions that are necessary. Yeah, who, Someone who, just tuned in from Houston, I Texas, see that. Got, hey. a wonderful uh, choreographer and talented artist, 
Carlo Henderson. All right. I hey, love Carlos. Nathaniel J. Just hey, Nathaniel. We love you. Well, y'all, so since we didn't have a guest, I figured it, there's a topic we ought to delve into, and it's hot because today is Juneteenth. Oh. Uh, and, and there have now been, uh, there's, there's a hearing, there was a hearing today. I don't know if it's going on tomorrow. Uh, was it in the House? Was it, no, it was in the Senate. It was in the Senate. Senate. In the Senate around uh, reparations. And they were looking to decide whether or not to. Um, to launch or grant a study. And Tanasi Coates really read uh, McConnell the Riot Act. <laughs> he should have. Did you hear what McConnell said? But there were several people. It was, it was Danny Glover, it was um, Julia Malvo. Uh, and so, you know, at Conyers had been putting this up to the House for, for decades around launching a study to, to, to study if reparations are really warranted, and if so, then what are they, you know, what, what are they gonna look like? I mean, you know, 40 acres and a mule was real until the Union troops were moved out, and then here comes Jim Crow. So where is that? What, what are y'all thoughts? What are y'all thoughts? My nephew's watching now. Hey, June Bay. I'm interested. I did not hear what Mitch McConnell said. But what did he say? He said you had your reparations when you had no, President not, Obama. Well, it, he said we don't need reparations, yeah. and he said, <laughs> I don't think the he didn't think the country needed to penalize people now uh, who weren't there when it happened, and then you know that's just a stupid argument. He I mean, just he break. just back I mean, we got treaties he made stupid that are multiple hundreds of years old that we honor still today. We, you know, at the end of the day, even if you're gonna chop it, at least be open enough to have the discussion. And it's investigate coming. thoroughly. You know, we we know what shade looks like, and it's real. But it's 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 when white men, straight white men, speak from a place of a privilege. Privilege. Right. Well, you know, and part of it is we've got disparities. Think about it. We skew on the wrong side of everything: education, wealth, health. You you name it. And there's reasons for that. And 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 Tanasi Coates really ran through. You know, all, all the things that are you know, our existing situation is the result of some strategic institutional decisions that were made by the government. And so much of that fuels the current situation. I mean, it's a no-brainer. No, no, everyone knows that. This is yeah, we're thing. still dealing with the reper repercussions. I mean, when you oppress people for so long, look at all of what has still occurred. Now, mind you, we have gone through a lot. We have achieved a lot. But yet there are certain groups and certain populations of people of color that have still not progressed in 2019. Well, that's been institutional. Yeah, the, and the it's thing been... Is, and I mean, the gap, there's, there's, there, are, there are institutional gaps. I mean, the, the, in, the institutional policies that resulted in the gaps between us and, and a lot of and, and, and white folks. It's, yeah, and I think I think we that. that's I think we should revisit that and have a politician on. Just I think we should invite someone. Just on. not not allowing us to take advantage of the GI Bill alone. Yeah, some some <laughs> Arnold Cocktail said he also said that it has been 150 years and no one is alive now that perpetuated slavery. Right, right. I mean, and it's not it's not it's, this goes beyond slavery though. I saw you, Deezy. I saw you, Deezy. So, so we're gonna have to. But keep the lasting effects of slavery, we we still. I mean, you can't you can't ever 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 di di hold that or put that in a point that yes, no one is alive. But look at the generations. We are all generations. We all come from folks who are slaves. So we still are dealing with all of that 150 years later. It it is a generational thing that well, has occurred. And, in and this, this is country. just to study it, to study it, and then also to see. If there are reparations, what should it, what would it look like? And there's there's talk. I know Julia Malvo has been saying let's fully fund HBCUs, and HBCUs have a legitimate claim because they outperform their budget. They you know Howard. Hampton, I think that would be a the, wonderful the, thing. They, they outperform the based on based on their allotment or the money that they have. They provide they overcompensate for the number of doctors, lawyer, black lawyers. You know, you name it. So they, they're really outperforming their budgetary constraints. So let's fully fund I think that, that would be a w one, one, one thing. Story. I'm definitely down for how do we fully fund hey, HBCs. Hey, hey, point. Right. And, 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 but I do want my reparations. So the Fletchers, I want my reparations. The Fletchers that owned us, I need to talk with you. I want my change. I want, I want my change, too. And, you know, and I, and I was about to make this one point, and then, yeah, pay one, me. And then Arnold <laughs> made it be quicker. 
you, you, he said that you know no one is alive that perpetuated, but there are people that are alive that are still benefiting, benefiting, benefiting from it. And so you, the have wealth to, of this nation was built on our backs. Right, right. You're I mean, let's be real. You're benefiting from it. I mean, what's, what, but you know, it's time again. Miss Shirley said you got to get out and vote. Oh, look at what Jasmine said. Jasmine Blue said Elizabeth Warren is the ticket. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. She like gets, talking to she gets my vote yeah. right now. And, and talking to people when you uh, the wonderful experiences of being um, part of the senior symposium. When you meet centurions who are 105 or 100 years old, and they Ooh, tell you, my father, around. who is still alive, and said, I come from parents who were slaves. Oh, oh yeah. For real. So yeah, let's, for real. let's be clear. There are people who are still alive that were a part of that, who who carry that, who who are... So we got to wrap this up, y'all. Yeah, we, we, one did, more we can go on and on, on anyway, about reparations. So I would like to, dip, to fully look into it, and let's begin to have well, an open dialogue. Books, but I tell you what, the hearings that, that were today, they're going to be, they, 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 they're available on C-SPAN. You can watch them. Somebody said, Jasmine Blue said, they can fully remove her student loans. That's Mine reparations. Too. Mine too. I think every person I'm of still, color should have well, their student I'm loans still paying They're going to do that loan. anyway. But anyway, y'all, we're getting a high sign. We're going to have to get out of here. Check us out. Check out the issue, the major issue. Go on to the website. Vote for your favorite contestant in our model contest. You get a vote on the men's and women, on the male presenting and female presenting side. So anyway, and if you got any comments or something, just hit us up. Uh, and, and if you're in D.C., come talk to us. And maybe, you have a maybe budget. You can join you us have on a the budget. show. <laughs> you have a budget. You have a budget. We have a seat for someone if they want to come join us. Your day is not with us today. So anyway. Uh, Check out all the stuff going on June 22nd in D.C. <laughs> Options. <laughs> and we're going to say good night, y'all. Thank y'all for joining us. Bye. Oh, I got to Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. D.C.'s number one recording studio. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, DC's number one recording studio. Oh.